into Whiskey Wednesday. This week we're talking about Miyagikyo. This is one of the Nika, well, one of the two Nika single malt distilleries. It's based in Sendai, and it's the same place where you get the coffee grain and the coffee malts. They've got pot stills and coffee stills at the same facility, producing loads of wonderful different types of whiskey. Um, this place has been going since 1969, so in the grand scheme of things, it's pretty new, but makes whiskey that is sought after and praised the world over. And it is essentially a, a Japanese space side style. It's kind of light, fruity, it's got a nice finish towards the end of it. Total opposite to Yochi, which is up in Hokkaido, which is the kind of smokier, saltier, really, really intense, well, not really intense, but more intense version. Um, that's enough about that. If any Japanese viewers are watching, I apologise because I've probably pronounced it wrong, but Miyagikyo seems to be the, the easiest way to say it. So we'll crack on with the smell, we'll crack on with the taste, and I'll tell you what's going on with it. It is very reminiscent of Space Island Highland styles. It smells like kind of honey, strawberries, cherries. Really abundant sweetness kicking around with the nose of it. It's 45% alcohol, it's about 10 to 15 years old, but there's no prickle of booze on the nose or anything like that. Fresh floral and summery. Actually reminds me quite a lot of uh, Inch Murrin, which is Lot Loman's kind of floral style. Yeah, there's loads of honey, apricot, lots of stone fruits. Let's have a try. The finish is totally different to what it smells like. The palette's quite similar. You get those kind of like soft, luxurious, kind of honey textured flavors really kicking around your mouth. But the finish is like spicy and herbaceous. It actually kind of reminds me of like, um, like Bao Blair, like Bao Blair 05 and Bao Blair 2000. Maybe not as intense as those, but from the sweetness of the nose to that spicy, more earthy style of, um, of finish, really unusual. Let's try it again. You get much more oak on the second time. Maybe slightly salty as well. I don't know if there's any sort of lightly peated whiskey coming through this. From the nose and the taste, I'm going to imagine it's probably quite sherry driven with a little bit of bourbon cask in there. But yeah, nice contrast. Big fruity nose, what you expect of a Japanese whiskey, or certainly what I expect of one. Nice contrast in the palate, starts to develop more spiciness. And then towards the end, it's a bit earthier, a bit drier, really oak driven. It's like a good 8 out of 10. I really like Miyagikyo. Um, if you can source it somewhere, please do. It's wonderful. And, you know, it's one of these Japanese whiskies that is always doing the rounds. It's not going away anywhere that I know of. Um, so, yeah, Miyagikyo. Solid 8 out of 10. Thank you all for watching. I've been Phil. This is The Whiskey Jar, and we will see you all next week. Cheers.